everyone welcome to the part 2 of the video tutorial where we were developing a stopwatch timer app in thunkable and we in the part 1 we have completed the world clock screen and started working with the stopwatch screen and if you have not seen the part 1 of this video so go ahead and check that out first because we are going to start from where we end last time so in the part 1 Uh, for the stopwatch screen we just added two labels and write and and have written the following things now we have to add a row next up underneath the stopwatch and the time label and in this row let's rename it uh, it will be named as and i have uh, renamed it as button row because we are going to add so many buttons in it not so many but yes four buttons number 1 2 3 and 4 let's rename it and text the following words number 1 is the uh, lab button so in respect with its name we will also write lab next up next button is the start button so we will text again start next next is the stop button and again in the text stop and the last one is the reset button and in the text reset will be written now let's go on to their colors so stop will be red the start button will be of uh, um green color and the reset button will be of dark gray lab button will be of light gray and we are going to make the following buttons in a circular shape so let's see how to make a button a circle for this you have to change the height absolute size to be 75 um uh, also the width to be 75 it's too much 75 and most importantly the border radius should be 75 and this will make your button in a circular shape same will be done with other also 75 absolute size 5 and we can even make the font bold also you can even make it italic also depends upon your choice so i have just made them bold and now most importantly for the row we will set its height um not yes height to be fill content only and let's add a margin between them of 30 and next we will be adding a list viewer list viewer now in this list viewer as we saw in the demo uh the labs will come here aligned now for the list viewer as we have added it we will keep uh, keep it height relative size to be 30 only and next to add a space between them we can now to add space between them we will go to the screen go to the vertical alignment and click on space around and it will provide space between all of them so this is the easy method of giving a little bit margin between all the components now for uh, now the lab button and the not lab button the stop and the reset button will be invisible we will we will make them invisible and now as we did for the screen to add a margin between uh, the components same we will do in the row also to add margin between them space between space around 
ओके सो वी आर ऑलमोस्ट डन विद द डिजाइनिंग नाउ द ओनली थिंग लेफ्ट हियर इज द टाइमर बिकॉज दिस इज एन इनविजिबल कंपोनेंट एंड दिस विल बी द दिस विल वर्क एज द मेन फंक्शनर ऑफ दिस एप सो येस वी आर डन विद द डिजाइनिंग लेट्स गो विद द प्रॉपर्टीज हियर नाउ विद द टाइमर प्रॉपर्टी हियर द इंटरवल विल बी ऑफ मिल सेकेंड्स काउंट अप शुड बी ट्रू एंड लूप्स शुड बी ऑल्सो ट्रू एंड हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ इंस्टेड ऑफ फाइव इट विल बी रिटर्न थाउजेंड मिल सेकेंड्स काउंट अप ट्रू एंड लूप्स ऑल्सो ट्रू इनेबल विल बी फॉल्स एज इट इज now let's go on to the blocks now for the blocks here we need four variables number 1 uh, i have taken from here initialize app variable name instead of name we have written lab countdown milliseconds and the list of apps sorry list of laps now here we will go on to the list and drag this empty list and we will stuck it here with the list of laps only empty list now let's do it reset button so when reset button is clicked go to variable and take out the countdown one okay and drag out this set set app variable instead of lap choose countdown and from the math take out zero and put it here then again let's copy it duplicate set app variable now this time we are going to take lap and the zero will be put here next set time label set time labels text to go to the text join and here just put it out here and insta world right Zero zero, zero zero, zero zero, and for the join app variable countdown. Where it's app variable countdown? Yes, here it is. Next, again copy it. Set time label text, and just drag this one out here and paste it, and that's all. Next, let's again make a duplicate of it, and instead of a Time we will take lap button, set lap button, and let's one more time, just here. Okay, put it out, and here instead of text, say, a uh, disabled. Here is disabled, and another one to be visible. And here one more time that I did it, and one more time make a duplicate of it and. make it of a reset button again visible now this here should be false and this these one should be true then uh, go to variable uh, again take this out and this time take app variable list of laps again duplicate and empty list next go to list viewer text items set list viewer text items to copy the zero and paste it here with the list viewer now here uh, we should not take it to zero but instead of it we will go on to again variable and set it of app variable list of laps because in the list viewer it will come of the uh, laps then go to milliseconds set App variable milliseconds to zero. Now the zero will come here, and now we will take the start button. So when start button is clicked, go to timer and uh, click this one out. Set timer one and go to enabled, and it should be true. Now copy this five times, and then make this one stop. not stop label but lap button this one again lap button this one should be the stop button and this one should be the we end the part 2 here we will continue in part 3